it is uh, almost one o'clock in the morning I finished the vlog a little early today and so I'm gonna go to bed I get to sleep with this little girl I'm so curious what kind of dreams she must be having she has very little life experience I, I I'm guessing that she dreams 80% about boobies and 20% about diapers like what is going on in that little mind of hers morning the drapes are pulled so it still looks pretty dark but you can see Annie says and I remember that in the middle of the night I had a weird dream and I, I flew my arm over and I almost hit her could you imagine waking up in the middle of the night, finding out that you hit your, your, your baby in some stupid dream? I know, I know, she's yelling at me. Sorry, kiddo. Scary. Just to give you a little idea of what you missed. She's being changed right now. She had a little bit of poop. It was like bait. You know, you know when you want to catch a rabbit, you put a little carrot under a box, you know, to get the, get the rabbit to come in and the box closes. Well, as soon as I saw a little poop, I went in there really close, like this. And then and then this shot out. This all the way down on my foot, in my face. I, I taste a little bit of her poop. Like a sniper, lures you in with some bait. And boof! I'm gonna wash my face. Hey, honey. Hira. That's weird. <laughs> yo, yo, check it out, check it out. <laughs> She's gonna be a break dancer. <laughs> I wasn't really planning on doing a reef tank update, but something that only happens once every month or so I noticed in the tank you see how it's kind of cloudy that's not dirt it's and it's not because the tank is in any way problematic it's actually snail sperm I have these snails and every so often one of them will start to I guess you'd say ejaculate into the water this white sperm and as soon as he does, I have three other ones that do the same thing. See? The whole tank will turn basically milky white. And uh, all of the other snails, like I said, will follow suit. Whoa! They'll do this for about, I don't know, 20 minutes or so. I wonder if this has anything to do with uh, yesterday. Uh, one of them died yesterday. I was cleaning the glass and I think I, I had to pull him off the glass and I think I pulled him a little bit too hard and he ended up dying. That's him right there. But maybe this is some sort of uh, connection whoop, chemically with the death of one of their buddies. I've had these, these snails in the tank for years. So maybe they're mourning their, their beloved buddy by having an orgy in the tank. Sometimes the tank, when all three of them are going at the same time, the whole tank will become like really, really white. The first time I noticed this, I was like, oh my God, what am I gonna do? The tank is, is in huge chaos. But to be honest, I bet that that sperm helps feed the corals and everything else. It's probably like really a useful protein, something that the other animals in the tank can feed on. Yeah, here it comes. Oh, <laughs> it's amazing how much liquid is inside that body. Anyways, that's your reef tank moment for today. No, my tank is not dirty. There's just a lot of action going on. I'm sitting down in the couch in the corner of the front room answering comments. It's sort of my morning routine. Wake up, look at the fish tank, answer comments. But uh, we're being serenaded by a sound that's a new part of my day. That is Annie's boob being sucked of milk. It's a very common sound now at the household. 
I'll, I'll give you a play-by-play. -play. There is milk dripping out of her nipple right now, and she's catching it in a cup. She's not even using the machine anymore. It's literally just pouring out. <laughs> it's pouring out. The human body is an amazing machine. It's, it's shooting out. <laughs> there are sometimes Eva's, Eva's sucking, you know? And then she... Oh, oh! God damn, Mom! It's better than not having any milk at all. That's, that's definitely true. You know what? I do realize what happened in this fish tank. The one snail saw that his buddy has died that he's been friends with for so many years. So just like in America at the funeral, they do the like six gun salute. He did the six cum salute. <laughs> six cum salute. <laughs> pew, pew, pew. Love you, bro. I love you, bro. So today I'm gonna to record the uh, collaboration I was talking about earlier about the fish tanks. So I'm gonna to go to the office. It's a total disaster. So first things first, I'm gonna clean it up, get some work done, and then record that video, and edit that video, and then send it to the guy. And uh, all the while, do this, do this little vlog thing. See you there. All right, back at the office. I brought Flora with me. Say hi, Flora. <laughs> She's pretty cool, but we're gonna tag team this uh, disaster area here, and I'm gonna destroy any remnants of smokes. Uh, I've made it a mission that I am done. I'm gonna try cold turkey this thing, and I think I can do it with all your support, of course. Enough talking, let's get cleaning. This spot's much better. <sighs> so nice to have a clean office. Floor, oh, infinite possibilities. But for now, I'm gonna record my collaboration video I was talking to you about before for uh, Coral Reef Talk is the name of the channel. And uh, yeah, that should be fun. So let me do that, I'll be right back. Okay, I just finished the uh, reef tank video. It is finito, I need to edit it and then send it to that guy. But uh, I'm happy with that. I got a clean office. And uh, yeah, that's it. Annie's got dinner ready, so I gotta skedaddle. Let's go back home. Okay, back at the house. Dinner's cooking. Annie's dad is here. So there's any guess to what we'll be eating. Yeah. 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 Yeah.